This is Weekly Guangzhou AI to look into the news and issues that drew attention in Guangzhou. The reporting team from Aving News recently met with INDJ, a Guangzhou based company that provides a music recommendation service using AI technology to analyze situations and emotions. The company won the Innovation Award at CES 2023, making it the only Guangzhou based company to receive the award. INDJ CEO Yung Wu Ju said in an interview that the company is playing a role in mining future gold and will enter the global market. The future of INDJ, which Guangzhou is paying attention to, is worth watching. Recently, Honam University introduced the AI Cube Academy through its Honam University YouTube channel. It is a course developed to enhance students' capabilities and introduce new technology trends such as AI and metaverse to citizens. Leading experts in research and education participated as instructors. Beck Lan, Honam University professor and director of the AI Convergence College, said that the AI Cube Academy course is available for free to foster the digital competence of all citizens and expects much attention. The course can be viewed through Honam University TV. On the 26th, Guangzhou Creative Economy Innovation Center held the Guangzhou Startup Forum at the Kim Dae Jung Convention Center, which was attended by prospective startup entrepreneurs, startups, and investors. Officials from startup support agencies explained government support programs. Kim Jin Hung, a KAIST professor, gave a lecture on Chat GPT. An investment briefing was also held, with companies such as Shareplat, the Intech, and Safe Motion participating. They emphasized their company's introduction and vision. Safe Motion's Oh Kai Min introduced a behavior recognition program, which is expected to receive significant interest in the market. The Aving News reporting team also met recently with Kim Min Sok, the CEO of Bootcamp, a company developing services for the health management of seniors. The company uses smartphone sensors to check health conditions and prevent fall accidents. Kim Min Sok said, this year will be a year to confirm Bootcamp's potential. The reporting team also met with Jung Sung Hoon, CEO of Unmanned Systems, a company developing a system that can autonomously acquire spatial information. The company is also developing unmanned aerial vehicles and underwater drones. He said, we are developing technology for full automation and aiming to provide the collected data inexpensively. That was Weekly Guangzhou AI. An AI announcer has delivered Guangzhou's AI news. The manuscript was written with the help of ChatGPT. The news is reported through platforms such as Naver, Dom, Google, and others worldwide. You can inquire about the promotion by email.